Vi säger hej. Hello, little boy. You see yourself? No, you don't see yourself? Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Um, I don't know if I'm even going to publish this, but I just wanted to pull the old camera out again and try recording this because I bought something really cool and I think it would be fun to record the journey that I'm going to go on sewing up all this fabric that I just bought. So there's a really cute uh, clothing brand called Birds of North America that I, is local to Toronto. And I bought a couple pieces of their stuff years and years and years ago. I don't have the shirt or the skirt anymore because they're very small. <laughs> and that was a long time ago. But then I moved out here and then I think I followed them on Instagram. And then a few days ago, uh, the person who runs Birds of North America posted on their Instagram that they were going to be selling uh, ends of bolts and leftovers and scraps in these fabric bundles. So, like, excess of their fabric and stuff. I just thought that sounded so cool, so I made a note on my calendar as a reminder as when they were going live. And then I hopped on the website at noon uh, last Thursday. Uh, it's January 2023, and I bought one of the bundles. There are a few different sizes of bundle. Like there's a scrap bundle, there was a medium bundle where you'd get sort of one to two meter lengths, and then I ended up buying a giant bundle. And the description said that the uh, there would be between three and six meter lengths of fabric. And I, it's not a surprise, there were photos of everything. Bye. There were photos of everything that was in all the bundles, so you knew what you were buying, and a description of what type of fiber, so that was really nice. And I got myself one of them. So this was all collectively 140 Canadian dollars. And I have two of these bags. That's got my order, order on it. Birds of North America. And as I said, so I know what's in them from the photos, but I haven't yet opened the actual package to see it in real life. And I just wanted to do that uh, with the camera running in case I decide to make this a series of trying to finish <laughs> using this fabric, maybe in the same year I bought it. Fabric is heavy. Fabric can be heavy when you get large chunks of it. So the funny thing about me buying the large bundle is I don't think I've ever bought six meters of one fabric at once. This is like a deep green or maybe a deep blue. It could be either. So now I've got my phone with uh, Birds North America's notes about what each fabric is. This is a dark green rayon noil, 100% uh, rayon, with a really nice sort of that sort of texture. Really pretty. It feels like there's a lot. Like this, I think, is what was making that package so heavy. So there's that. And then there's this so fun peacock's fabric. Which feels... I don't know. It could be quilting cotton. Actually, it's Anna Maria's Conservatory. Is that Anna Maria Horner? No. Homeward by Monica Forsberg. For Anna Maria's conservatory. Okay. So this may actually be a quilting cotton or something of that weight. Um, I haven't washed it. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like it's been washed, so it might um, feel slightly different uh, once it's had a wash. But that is so fun. This, I believe, is the double gauze that was in there. Let's have a look at an edge. Okay. So when you find an edge of the fabric, you can see the other side is a different color. I mean, so far, apart from the crazy peacock fabric, we've got two neutrals. And again, this feels like a big chunk of fabric, but much lighter than the rayon. And now for the second bag. Because yes, oh, that one's heavy. My $140 of fabric, which honestly I think is super good value 
for these leftovers. Came in two bags. This is fun and summery. Oh, that'll make a great summer sundress or top. Again, it feels feels like more than enough for a dress, especially... I mean, if every piece I got was between three and six meters, then... I could almost make a dress with everything, depending on the pattern. Yeah, yarn dye striped linen, 100% linen. I think this will feel so nice once it's had a wash. Excited about that for summer. This is a black viscose twill. Which feels like it'll have a really nice drape to it. I wonder if I could do like wide leg pants? Maybe. I think I might even be able to do a wide leg pant out of it. Which would be fun. This is a twill that's rayon. Yeah, this one's 100% rayon. It's got a fun sort of flower pattern on it. Again, this would make a great dress. But again, really pretty. Oh, I wonder if I could... Depending on how much of this there is, I'll have to measure and check. I wonder if I could make that um, really flowy closet core patterns. I think it might be the LED dress. I might even have enough to do like the long version out of that. Excuse me. Do not lie down on the new fabric. There were candies. That's so nice. Vegan candies. Oh, and there's a note in this one. Thank you, Heather. I hope you find tons of sewing inspo with all these materials. Haley. I sure do. <laughs> and yeah, I think it would be so great. I would love to make things this, like, use up this fabric this year. I hadn't figured out any sewing goals for myself so far this year, but maybe it is using up all these chunks of fabric. So this is 100% cotton, fun leafy print. Oh, this is a this is a Robert Kaufman fabric. Again, feels like quilting cotton. I think Robert Kaufman does do quilting cottons, but again, I'll give it a wash, see how it washes up, and figure out what I want to make with it. This one is polyester, but it's got this great constellations in the sky print which is really fun. And again, feels like a lot. I'm gonna to have to measure these and write it all down so I know so I know what I have so I can start thinking about what to make out of each thing. But yeah, this this is fun. I restrained myself when I was uh, choosing which bundle to buy. I also didn't give myself too much time to think because I was concerned they would sell out and I think they did sell out within half an hour or maybe less. I was there at the beginning of the uh, of when they went on sale, and there were a few that I liked, and I had so I think three of them open on the screen at once, and I decided to go with this one because I liked obviously I liked all the stuff in it, but also apart from the crazy peacocks, it's slightly more neutral than what I normally wear, <laughs> and what I normally sew, which is good because now I can make like I can make some black basics or some gray basics out of the the double gauze and the twill that Mr. Conan is lying on. I mean, at least Conan is black, so the fur he's getting on it is the same color as the fabric. Yes, it is. We haven't done this in a while, have we? Talk to the imaginary people in the camera? Yeah. But yeah, I think I'm going to measure up what I have of each and figure out the width too because you know fabric can be in whatever it is, the 44 inch wide or the 52 or 60. Some of the knits that I've bought in the past have been super wide. That's why I have leftovers all the time. But yeah, so I need to figure out how much of each I have and then start planning. Actually, how many chunks is this? got dark green, we've got peacocks, we've got grey double gauze, we've got the stripe, we've got the zinnias, we've got the leaves, we've got stars, and the black. So there's eight fabrics in this bundle. Maybe this is my make nine for 2023, 
and I just need to throw in something I already have in stash. I've been trying not to buy fabric, but this chance just seemed too cool to pass up. Because I have a certain storage area where I'd like all my yarn and fabric to fit. And it does not. It already really does not. <laughs> and these are not going to fit. I don't know where these are going to live, because fabric storage is full, fabric storage has overflowed into the bookcase, onto one shelf, and then a second shelf, and then a third shelf. I'm going to have to find somewhere for those to live, or get sewing and get some new clothes in my closet. And then hopefully, sometime soon, there'll be another video, or maybe this is the intro to a video. See, I don't even know what I'm doing. I just knew I needed to get the camera out as I was pulling these out of the bag. I think I'm most excited for the blue and white stripe and this yellow, yellow flower fabric. Don't know what it's gonna be. This one's got some nice drape. Oh yeah, the LED. Or maybe that's what this is. And I'm excited about sewing, um, which I haven't been in a few months, which is why you haven't heard from me. So, Maybe that's my goal this year. Well, I think that has to be my goal this year because this is I'm just going to be living on the couch or something until I figure out where to put it. I have a fireplace. I don't have much of a... It's not very deep, so I can't put the fabric in there. But yeah, thanks for watching me unbox or unbag all this stuff. And then hopefully soon I'll actually sew some of it up and share it with you because I love sharing my crafts with people who care as much as I do about crafts. <laughs> and that's you guys. Okay, so here's all the fabric on my sewing table. Currently no sewing machine. Because I was using it to measure all this fabric out. And I have about four and a half, like on average, four and a half meters of each one of these, which is amazing. As you can see, I wrote it all down in my notebook. I measured the width of the fabric, as well as uh, the length, how much was cut. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. It's four and a half. You can do so much with four and a half meters. Remember, that's meters, not yards. A couple of them, like this star one, and I don't remember which other one are in a few lengths. Like, I think this star one is in three pieces. Yeah, we zoom in there. Three pieces, 1.8, 1.4, 1.4. That's fine. There's so much of it. So the one I have the least of is this peacock one. This one is the only one under four meters. This is 3.6 meters of that. Everything else is between four and a half and 4.8 meters. So I'm going to have a lot of fabric. I'm going to have a lot of thinking to do about what I want to make out of each. And I think that will be the next video is when I've got a better idea of what I want to do with what.